In Charlotte, the streets aren't exactly bare this weekend, but the plan was for Uptown to be booming, which is exactly how to describe the scene in New Orleans right now. Thousands of NBA fans and celebrities reveling in the 2017 All-Star Weekend. Dunk contest, three-point contest, stuff like that. The one that was supposed to be in Charlotte, that is, until the NBA yanked it after state lawmakers passed the so-called bathroom bill, or HB2, last year. It's rough. That's rough. I was really looking forward to the All-Star game being here. In the words of North Carolina's new governor, this could have been a different weekend. It would have been awesome just to be in the atmosphere of a city that hosts an All-Star game. Charlotte City Council estimated the All-Star game would bring in approximately $100 million, most of that from visitor spending. But because of HB2, which requires all people to use public restrooms that match the sex listed on their birth certificate, and excludes the LGBT community from a statewide non-discrimination policy. For Uptown, it's unfortunately business as usual this weekend. I'm not a politician, I'm a businessman, and so for me, I kind of take my personal beliefs on all this stuff out of it, and it's more for me just a, a bit, you know, dollars and cents. Jeff Wakeham owns the restaurant Essex, not far from the Spectrum Center where the game was supposed to be played. My guess is probably would have quadrupled our sales. In a state where basketball is nearly a religion, for many it's frustrating. I was really excited to have it here and uh, to get Kimba Walker voted into the All-Star game, um, but now that it's moved away, I honestly couldn't care less about it. But others say that while they were excited about the All-Star weekend, it is not worth compromising their values. You got to stick by what you believe in. You're going to compromise your kid's safety. You're going to put a dollar value on that. I, I mean, I, I don't put a dollar value on that. You know, politicians will, the mayor may. And they have. Hundreds of millions are said to have been lost through businesses refusing to expand or relocate to North Carolina, performers canceling concerts, the NCAA pulling seven championship events from the state, and the North Carolina Sports Association sent a letter out that says unless HB2 is repealed, the NCAA could remove all events through 2022. I hope they come to a resolution. I hear they're trying to turn it around maybe. While several bills that would repeal HB2 have been introduced, none have passed a Republican-controlled legislature. As far as the All-Star game is concerned, this weekend belongs to the Big Easy. But the NBA says that if the law changes, Charlotte could be hosting its own big party in 2019.